Sit down, shut up. My contract calls me to do a midweek press conference every week, so here I am. Uh, my contract does not call for me to take a huge dump, but I did that this morning on my own. I was not contractually obligated to make an enormous shit, but I did. Put that in your column. This press conference is sponsored by MyBookie.ag. Their motto is MyBookie.ag. We found the shirt you lost. Welcome to the 2-11 Giants press conference. Uh, let me address the fact that I said we were 2-12 earlier this week after the uh, Dallas debacle. Uh, I was out of my mind, and I wasn't thinking clearly. So yes, I made a mistake. Fuck me. We are 2-11, and 11, not 2-12. and 12. Y You know what the difference is between 11 losses and 12 losses? 11 losses blows goats. 12 losses blow ugly goats. Am I crystal clear? Do you understand what I'm saying? Good. My mother-in-law will not divulge her bets uh, for this week at this time, okay? She will go to mybookie.ag, put in the promo code capital VIC50, which is a separate promo code just for the press conferences only. And she will bet on at least one game, and I don't care what anyone thinks, and she is now 20 wins, 7 losses, and 1 push. So, eat a bag of dicks. You could print that. Yeah. Okay, so let's go to the injury report. Apple, quivering clam probable. Dakwa, girlish figure, questionable. Gorman, rotten trouser trout, possible. Goodson, engorged meat puppet, believable. Harrison, sloppy bottom, perpendicular. Pierre Paul, N-A-G-T-F, which is nuts accidentally glued to floor, whatever. Pew, giggling pussy, doubtful. Randolph, herniated baloney shaft, maybe. Shepard, ingrown taint hair, tradable. Wheeler, who the fuck is he? Fuck him too. All right. Uh, let me say, I love the city of Philadelphia. I really do. I love Philly. I love Boston. I love Washington. They all are beautiful old cities full of history and amazing people. But I truly hate the Eagles. I was taught to hate the Eagles as a small child. When Paul Revere rode through Boston yelling, the British are coming, he finally got down to Philly, and you know what he said? He said, fuck the Eagles. Yeah, that's the truth. Google it. Yeah. So here we are. Here we are. We have the hated Eagles coming into our house this Sunday. The good news? They don't have Carson Wentz. The bad news, we actually have to go out and play the fucking game. We will be looking at a lot of things these last few weeks. Uh, no one is immune to change, and we need to seriously think about our future, which starts now. We could play the role of spoiler. We could play the role of the elderly grandmother. We could play the role of a dim-witted neighbor who stumbles onto a drug ring and hilarity ensues. I don't know what role we will play, but I will say that role will be buttered, soft, and just out of the oven. Do you nitwits understand what I'm saying? Okay, I'm done. You all need to get out of here. I understand the value of the press, and I respect you sports writers as much as anyone can respect someone who never got hit and thought he was an eight-year-old girl for three minutes while a doctor shined a flashlight in your eyes, and all you could hear was Judy Garland singing Over the Rainbow. I have a team that needs to get ready for this Sunday. I have an offensive coach who calls plays for the elderly. 
and I have a defense that gives up no yards for 50 plays and 4,000 yards in five plays. There's food in the other room. Don't choke on it. Oh, and um, here's the questions you wrote down for me on a piece of paper. I'll see you all Sunday. Go Big Blue. Yeah, oh, too bad, too bad. I didn't have Kleenex, okay? <laughs>